What is up, YouTube? It is me, Professor Z, back with another video. Today, I am going to talk about the Ancient Dragon Alliance. Okay, just had to make sure, because last time I did a video on these guys, a dragon appeared out of nowhere, blew fire everywhere. I think we're good this time. But today, we're going to go over the dragon paper, uh, the clan war paper, talk about the roles in the Discord, the roles by holding all the fun tools that they got this project is exciting the clan wars the mint date whoo it is going to be amazing oh man come on now i thought we were cool okay okay i think we're good dang dragon appeared again blue fire everywhere that's fine anyway let's dive into this video I strongly recommend you stick around till the end because I might have a surprise. I wonder what that could be. All right, let's go. All right, so like I said in the intro, today we are going to talk about Ancient Dragon Alliance Dragon Paper. Oh man, I am excited to dive into this thing, so I hope you guys are as well. So when you first click on the link, because you can find it in the Discord, I'll show you where it's at here in a little bit. But when you first click on it, it pulls you up to this page right here. Now I love, absolutely love, how that looks when you first come in looks very inviting looks great like hey look at this like it's whew, looks really good all right so then scroll down here so welcome within this dragon paper you'll find a little bit a little bit about our team the utility behind our project rewards all right and they want to thank you for taking the time to learn about the project of course of course all right so the ancient dragon alliance is accumulation of utility lore engagement that will envelop you from the very moment you look at our nfts what we bring to the cardano space are custom coded tools which they do we'll look at those in the discord too detailed story driven multimedia content and gamified elements that incentivize engagement and collaboration across multiple projects we envision the ancient dragon alliance project to be a well-rounded and robust ecosystem we aren't just a pfp project a utility tools project or a passive rewards project we endeavor to build an entire ecosystem where our community can enjoy and immerse an extensive range of benefits there's benefits to holding just the relics too uh we're gonna i'm gonna we're gonna look in the discord because there's a lot in the discord as well there's something for everyone to enjoy and benefit from within our project that remains true whether you actively participate or passively hold our nfts you'll find this paper highlights a lot of what we're currently delivering and working to deliver in the near future this is just the beginning though as we are looking at the vast range of future developments that's what you always want to see right you want to see a project that's looking to the future while also focusing on the now as well i'm excited all right this dragon paper got me excited so then we come to the sky map this is just they have what they've done so far and what they're going to do it's awesome then you got the team all right so i'm not going to go through each of their profiles uh, but you have jason you have josh you have antoine antoine you have blake and you have marty now in discord you got it's osiris lav uh, and a dubs um and then you got blaine and marty as well like but those are their names in the discords now what's really cool is like i've gotten to know all of them they're all great great group of people um they know what they're doing they know how to run a project i'm really excited about that i strongly suggest you go in kind of read more about their backgrounds they each have a page in here i'm not going to read each one that is totally up to you so you can go <laughs> marty you can go in and read those all on your own now the collection all right so the first one we're going to talk about is the dragons i am so pumped for these things they look so so good i mean look at these right look at all these these aren't even all the ones that they've released so far we're going to look at some of the sneak peeks too but i absolutely love every single one of these they look so so good and then we got the dragon rolls okay and they have some blacked out because there's still some more that they're going to release that they're not released to the public just yet so you have a dragon youngling which you hold one to two dragons you have the dragon trainer which is three to ten you got dragon knight 11 to 24 you got the dragon commander 25 to 50 duke of dragons 51 plus 
And then the first two 100 dragons will get the Dragon Emperor roll. There is a lot of stuff that comes with this, and it is really, really cool to see. All right, so with the Dragon Emperor roll, the first one to it will get an instant prize of 1,000 ADA. That's right, instant prize of 1,000 ADA. The first one to 100 dragons gets 1,000 ADA. Like, they're giving 1,000 ADA away to the first one who reaches 100 dragons. That is absolutely insane. Then you get the Emperor's Crown, which is an exclusive NFT that will be claimed by the first holder to reach 100 dragons. This carries with it a unique role in the project called the Dragon Emperor and comes with a host of special benefits that are unique to its owner. This crown can be inherited or passed to the next Dragon King, 100 holders, or 100 Dragon holder in line. Should the Emperor fall under 100, 100 dragons held for more than five consecutive days? So that means... First one to 100 will get this crown. If they fall under 100 dragons, holding 100 dragons, the next person, the person who reached 100 dragons second, will then inherit that crown and be the dragon emperor. All right, so that, I mean, that is that's pretty cool. Then they have the divine right, which is the dragon emperor role. Divine entitlement, you get three free mints from every mint going forward. So if they do more mints in the future, you get three free ones just by holding that crown and being the Dragon Emperor. Uh, Rulers Magic. So the Rulers Foresight Special Project Alpha channel, Emperor and Kings exclusive. Ooh, that's cool. Rulers Diplomacy. Additional whitelist giveaways and partner project benefits. Emperor and King exclusive. So that's pretty awesome. Then the next two 100 dragons will be the Dragon King. They get 500 ADA for hitting that roll. So if you come in second to hit 100, you get that 500 ADA. I mean, that is that is really cool. And then we have the relics. These things are absolutely mind-blowing. They are 3D. You have multiple ones. We'll talk about those in a second. So then the ancient relic benefits, okay? So the ancient relic benefits acts as a membership NFT. So you commit three dragons from our primary collection. So if you hold one, you commit three and you get a discount. All right, we'll go over the mint prices here soon too. Then you have the Heritage Dragon Relics, which I absolutely love these things. Look at that lightning. You get the 3D rotation. They are beautiful. My favorite one is Obsidian. Obsidian Gang for life. All you stone and marble people are a bunch of crazy people. Yes, I'm talking to you, A-dubs. And yes, I'm talking to you, Flip. All right. Obsidian all the way. Heritage Relic Benefits. Acts as a membership NFT, so you commit four of the primary collection. So if you have a heritage, which you can only get those off secondary, uh, the same with the other ones, but the heritage ones, there's only a few. They've all been upgraded. Uh, they were the first chapter. You cannot upgrade your, your other one at all. Heritage is the upgraded one, has the lightning. Absolutely beautiful. Um, weighted times two in the raffle giveaways funded by 50% of the relic secondary royalties. You get a 15% discount on the dragon mint. There are gold ones. There's only 14 of them. If you're one of the lucky few to have one, congratulations. The relic roll you have chosen have at least one ancient dragon relic. Marble have at least one marble. Boo. Obsidian have at least one obsidian. Obsidian all the way. Let's go. Hydra, you have all of them, and Golden, you have at least one Golden one. The utility for these things, absolutely amazing, right? So just by holding a Relic, you get tons of utility out of it. There is some in the Discord you have to see, like the Seeing Stone um, page in there where you can see like when something gets listed, any other project like gets listed underneath the floor, you can go in and snipe it. It is really, really cool. We'll take a look at that here soon. Now they have, so there's the Silver Sing Stone tier has been released with the Gold Sing Stone releasing soon. Ho oh, oh, ho, gold. I love gold. All right, Tool Suite. Well, here we go. So the floor bot, right? Talk about it right here a little bit. This is what it looks like. It is the floor bot for the relics. It tells you what the floor currently is and you know how to get to the higher floors. Then you have the Bronze Sing Stone. Let's see what this is here.
how cool is that right that was just a little demo of the bronze singing stone really really cool uh the silver singing stone they don't have a video for that yet we'll talk i'll we'll go in there and take a look and then the gold singing stone has not been released yet now they do have the Horde token, right? The Horde token is absolutely awesome. Uh, there are three forms of staking now. Um, with your relics, you could do the CCC, which you get C4. Uh, then you have the mutants, and then you have the Cardano lands where you get the Hexo token. Uh, but if you wanna get Horde token by staking your relics, the place to go is the mutant labs for that which they talk about right here, right? So you have Cardano Lands and you have Mutants. The CCC is a newer one, uh, Cardano Croc Club. We'll talk about that. Uh, you know, we might not touch on that, but there is, I'll show you Discord. There's tons of information in there. So here are the Horde tech Tokenomics, right? The Horde Tokenomics. So 50% of the Horde will be for the Clan Wars. What are the Clan Wars? <laughs> we'll get there. Then you have... 0.5% for the team, so not even 1% saved for the team. Then you have 4.5% for marketing, 15% treasury, 30% for staking. Boom, there we go, right? The clan paper. The clan paper has a lot of information. This might be a long video. That's totally okay because it is jam packed with tons of awesome stuff about this amazing project that I am super excited for. So the Clan Wars is one of our main featured utilities within the Ancient Dragon Alliance. This is a gamified concept that starts within our Discord community and spreads its wings throughout the CNFT space. The Clan Wars will continue to grow and evolve throughout the lifetime of the project. Five clans will battle it out over the course of one month. The winning clan will receive various rewards, including a large increase to their horde. The clan that accumulates the most points by the end of the Clan Wars will be crowned the winner. So one war equals one month. So the members of the winning clan will be rewarded a large share of Horde, allowing them to bid more competitively in high value raffles and auctions. There will also be a leaderboard to reward the highest achieving warriors, regardless of which clan they are in. We suggest you review the clan paper thoroughly and be trained up on all the ins and outs of the wars. That, that way you're in the best position to strategize your path to victory. Man, there's, there's a lot of info. Okay, so the overall goal of the clan wars following marketing collabs floors so on and so forth this is only the beginning so the roles here are the roles okay uh we're gonna break down these roles so you got the board the board is a group of members for each clan so you have the ruler the regent and the advisors the ruler is the coordinator of each clan based on having the emperor or king holder role so you have to have those two roles to be the ruler of the clan the regent someone who can be elected if there is no king to rule that clan must have dragon commander holder role or above advisors three to five hand-picked members chosen by the ruler of each clan must have dragon knight holder role or above champions are a group of the top 10 percent of players within each clan war regardless of which clan they were in the champions will be placed in random groups and each will have a different time allocation to choose one of the five clans they wish to serve no group is allowed to have over 20 percent of the total amount of champions so the horde the horde is a group of remaining members participating in the clan wars during the free dra free dragon sea agency period the board of each clan will be able to choose up to five members from the horde during this time the losing clan will get the first draft pick followed by the fourth, the third, etc. After the free Dragon Sea period has concluded, there will be a three-day period where the remaining horde will have a chance to participate in the reverse draft system for all five clans. That's cool. Like, it's basically like a draft. Those of you who've played fantasy football, you kind of know what this is. It's really, really cool to see, right? So the reverse draft, three-day period of time begin. Stages of the clan wars called the reverse draft. Within this, the horde will be given a chance to be placed in the clan of their choosing. So you can kind of clan, right? Keep in mind that these raffles do not guarantee your entry into a specific clan. First draft goes as follow. Raffle for entry into the fourth and fifth place clans will from the previous month. This is a 24 hour entry period. A preceding 24 hour raffle for the second and third place clans from the previous month. 24 hour raffle for both of these are concluded for the first place clan. A final raffle will run for any remaining participants to be filled on a first-come, first-served basis. 
That's cool. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. So the first day of the month, clan resets. After the clan resets, there'll be the free dragon seed period. Following three days, reverse draft. And day 8 to 27, the war ensues. All five clans battle it out. Day 28 to 30, the war concludes. So there will be missions. All right. So every clan will have a mission. Uh, you want to make sure to try to you know, complete those missions so that you get the points for your clan so that your clan can win and enjoy these amazing, amazing prizes that they're going to have. So there's three types. They're stackable. These missions can be completed more than once on any given month by multiple people within the clan. Liking, commenting, retweeting our Twitter posts every day earns you points, right? How simple is that? Non-stackable, all right? So these can only be completed once by either the clan itself or once per member. So the example, holding one of our dragons with the lightning breath trait. That's cool, right? Pop up. These missions are a one-time completion and will occur spontaneously throughout each month. Pop-up missions will be time sensitive as well. So make sure to be on the lookout. Example, a time sensitive tweets array. Now, all these like in the Discord, uh, there's gonna be a whole clan wars channel, right? So that you can see where your clan's at. Uh, you talk with your clan, you guys, and then there'll be like the missions, the proof, all that stuff. You can go in and show proof that you did it, earn your points. There's so much to this. It's gonna be exciting. I'm excited for this. All right, so collaborations. Uh, so each season will each season will formally host partner projects for the wars. This will be divided into two. So you have uh, draconic allies and featured allies. So the draconic allies, uh, this will be a collection of six projects each season. Each season, one season is three months. So for three months, you know the six projects. Those are going to be the, the allies, the dra the draconic allies. So that will have a special role in our Discord. These projects will be hand chosen by the core team and the community itself. There will be a specific requirements that a project needs to have in order to be chosen. Special missions will be created specifically for the engagement of their project. That, that is really cool, I like that. Featured allies, these allies will take the shape of special guests within each clan war, including projects and content creators within the CNFT space. Hey, I'm a content creator. Just throwing that out there. All right, anyway, um, special missions will be added that month to help clans get points. Rewards. You want to see the rewards so that you know what you're going to be working for within your clan. So you guys know you got to be a team to complete this, these missions to get these rewards, right? There are no spoils in this war. No spoils. This battle is fought on reward and merit alone. Each clan will submit a tribute, which is the offering of points they've gathered through the accomplishment, accomplished missions. The Lords will, in return, pay out and hoard to the top three clans that present the most tribute. Interesting. There is a maximum emission of 8,333,333 hoard tokens per month. This range is highly dependent on the number of participants. In the first season the threshold will be 500 players 100 percent of the monthly clan war emissions spread the percentage of the player's threshold will equal the emission spread so example they do an example here 99 percent 495 players of max players 99 percent of monthly emissions boom the first place clan will get 60 percent of the horde rewards second will get 20 third will get 15 top 10 dragon warriors will get five percent you want to be a dragon warrior each month, the goal is to allocate five to 10,000 ADA. First war will probably be higher to purchase NFTs chosen before each war begins. These NFTs will be raffled and or auctioned off. This will give the winning clan the biggest advantage to obtain these NFTs. This is where the reward governance team will be in integrated. The RGT is made up of members with the empowered role in the community. This team will be able to make proposals monthly and vote on NFTs to be purchased. There will be a minimum, minimum budget to purchase these NFTs of 5,000 ADA for the RGT bank. Every single time, 5,000 ADA will be allocated to purchase NFTs. The Lords, founders, can add to the RGT bank or pick projects, ADA raffles, and or DeFi tokens of their choosing for remaining allocation. 
The end result will be NFTs with a varying range of value that our community will have the opportunity to obtain. I want an opportunity to obtain some of these, right? Please note that as of the day this paper is released, a snapshot has been taken of all the members with the empowered role. Those with the empowered role before the release of this paper are grandfathered in. The update requirement will be announced to the community before the claim war begins. Check out our roles section in the Discord to see the original requirements were for the empowered, as well as some additional roles not included in this paper. Okay, that clam paper, absolutely crazy. I strongly suggest you go into this dragon paper, go to that clam paper section and read through that yourself. I'm kind of going through this fast because I don't want this video to be like 40 minutes long, which it could possibly be if I took my time and went through this. I'm showing you guys some of the highlights. I'm going over it and giving you my my reactions to this because I'm excited. Like this, this has me really excited. Everything that's coming out, absolutely crazy. So now we're in the partners, right? So they have partner projects that they're gonna be working with. Uh, this one's really cool. So we have inside the, the Discord Collective Conversations, which has Lav and Adubs, right? They are the host and they are bringing so they did this podcast before they started this project and they are now bringing the podcast as part of the project the benefit of being in this project i'll show you uh in the discord that little section too they do giveaways and everything it's really cool uh so we have cardano lands which we talked about being able to stake get the hexo we have mutants where you can go stake as well get horde for staking with mutants and enter in the raffles that have horde because uh, the founders will be doing raffles for different NFTs that you can enter in with Horde. Then you have Speed Throne, which one of the dragons will be selected as a driver. And Lovelace Club, right? AdaConnect.io. You want to know more about that? Hop in the paper and look it over. Socials and links, all that is here. I will also include all these links down in the description below for you to take a look at. And then Draconic Ambitions. For Ancient Dragon Alliance Future, we envision the metaverse. Dragons conquering Cardano. Regardless of the blockchain, the metaverse has become such a buzz buzzword within NFT space. Very true, right? So who knows? Maybe this will include transforming our 2D dragons into the Vox and 3D realms. All right, all right. Gamification. Ancient Dragon Alliance games are something we'd love to see for our project aside from the clan wars themselves. They have a lot of ambition. They have a lot of things they are looking to do. So that is that is really cool. All right, so that is the Dragon Paper. Uh, again, I kind of went over it pretty fast. Strongly suggest you hop in yourself and take a look. Now let's take a look at the Discord. All right, so here is the Discord, right? Now there is some stuff I get to see because I am uh, the head moderator of this project. So I have to be cautious of where I scroll because some of it has not been released yet. So I can't show you guys this. Uh, but anyway, so you, we have the consensus here, which is really cool because we currently have 2,427 people in the Discord. The founders have started going hard on marketing and it is really starting to show. Uh, and then we have down here, you got the landing, which is the code. Then you got what is ADA, meet the team, sky map, dragon paper. So if you want to read the dragon paper, this is where you go. Go right here to dragon paper, click here, and it will take you to the link of what we just went over. The Dralic dragon relic info can be found right here as well. Got the tools. Now this is the tools that they were talking about. So the silver seeing stone uh, is a tool scryer, ancient scryers use to focus their sight. The tool focuses their power in a slightly different manner. Okay, so the silver shows NFTs with rare traits that have been listed below their trait value floor. So instead of just the overall floor, it shows you the trait value floor, which is really, really cool. And then you got the Horde token, right? You got all this here, which we went over. Staking. You want to learn more about the staking? You want to know where we're staked? Go right there to staking, and it will show you all this. Strongly suggest you check it out web links policy id royalty wallet yes you can see the royalty wallet you can see how much is in there and what they're doing and then of course you have like everything else announcements sneak peeks sneak peeks sneak peeks we need to take a look at this this is one of the 101s like look at that look how awesome that is i absolutely love it so excited for that here are some more this one's one of my favorites uh we have a diamond skin 
dra like look at the gold and all these um, uh, gems, which yeah, okay. Uh, and then of course you got some more here. Like the, I'm excited for these. I'm absolutely excited for these. Uh, the artists behind these uh, are actually like tattoo artists in real life, so it's really really cool. Mint info, all that's right here. So Heritage Dragon Relic. If you for every Heritage Dragon Relic you own, you can mint four at 57 ADA. For the Ancient, you can mint three at 62, and then the Ascendant, which is just the white list roll, you can mint one. For 69 the time so the heritage dragon mint takes place on the 14th ancient starts on the 15th and public starts on the 16th we are getting close and i'm super excited and i cannot wait to mint one of these well not one i'm gonna mint a lot of them but i'm excited to mint right uh how to whitelist uh once you get a whitelist roll if you get the ascendant roll from anywhere you need to go here to whitelist wallet registration and, and register your wallet because you've got to be able to do that so you have the whitelist roll. You have all this here. Link your wallet, pick your rolls, hoard raffles, all that fun stuff. And then we have like all this here, the general uh, talk, which looks like some people are in there right now just have, hanging out, having fun, flipped. Uh, Lazy Brock. I'm going to say hi real quick. Actually, you know what? Here's, here's something really cool, right? The bot. So if I type dragon... Watch this. Boom. Like, how cool is that? And then we have, I like this one too, Hydra. Type in Hydra. Have all these Hell Hydra. Like, it's just really cool. There's there's a few more in there too. Uh, strongly suggest hopping in, check it out. Uh, then we have all these here. The Chosen, you got Chosen News. Uh, empowered. So here's the Silver Seeing Stone, right? So when we look at the silver seeing stone, you can see, here, let's scroll down to the bottom. I want to see the newest one listed. Okay, what is this? A mini magic kingdom. Okay. Uh, so the collection floor is 200 price. So the trait floor for this one you see is 2,300. It is listed for 765 ADA. So if I wanted that, I mean, bam, I can click on that. It would take me there. I can buy it. Now here's what I was talking about, um, collective conversations. So this is where they do the podcast. They do the podcast, they'll announce it beforehand, who the guest is and everything like that. Uh, you have all the ones that have been recorded. You got the chat here. And then during the podcast, they do giveaways. So during uh, this most recent one that took place yesterday, they gave away some uh, family crests. Uh, and as you can see, like, right, the winner was announced during the podcast, really cool. Um, Two of the coolest guys I've gotten to talk to and gotten to know. Their podcast is pretty awesome. Strongly suggest you check it out. It is one of the benefits of being a holder or being just a community member of Ancient Dragon Alliance. You have the market. You have games. So we do games all the time. Support. Chat. Right there. Right? Boom. Perfect. Uh, this is the Discord. Like I said, strongly suggest you know checking it out. Hop in. All the links will be down in the description below. But that's this video. It's a long video, I'm sorry. Let's kick it on over now to the outro. Woo, thank y'all so much for joining me today. Now I did say in the beginning, I would have a surprise at the end of this video. So for those of you that made it to the end of this video, Ancient Dragon Alliance has given me one of their Ancient Dragon Relics, which again, allows you to mint up to three dragons, right? So you want that. And they've also given me 10 whitelists to give away with this video. So all you got to do, like, subscribe, share it with your friends, get the word out there. I will also be posting on Twitter and doing that as well. So you got to share it on Twitter, all that fun stuff. It is coming out. If you do all that, you enter for a chance to win one of the 10 whitelists and the relic. Now, how I will pick that, the first name that gets drawn will get the relic. The 10 after, we'll get the whitelist. I'll reach out to you guys. But again, I'm on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Once I get there, I'm giving away a raccoon. I'm giving away a clay after dark. And I am also going to give away one of my relics and one of my dragons that I mint. 
That's right, I am adding more and more to this giveaway I'm gonna do once I hit a thousand subscribers. So help me get there, we're getting close. Let's kick off 2023 in a big way. Like it, subscribe, share with your friends. Let's get the word out there. Let's get this channel growing. I hope each and every one of you had a fantastic 2022. I hope you have an even better 2023. Let's go, YouTube fam. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Make every single day your best day ever. And until next time, I am Professor Z.